what I thought was gonna be a regular Jimmy's World video where I try to race my commercial flight from Tampa to New Orleans turned into something that uh, could have been the last video. I only got two greens. That's not good. Whoa! It's gonna be one of those rides again, huh? Holy crap, a lot! I received a letter from the TSA. Aaron Wagner, Director of Security Threat Assessment Division, Intelligence and Analysis. It says, and I quote, our records indicate that you committed certain violations of TSA security regulations. Violations include, but are not limited to, interfering with security operation, access control violations, providing false or fraudulent documents, making a bomb threat, or bringing a firearm, explosive, or other prohibited item to an airport or on board an aircraft. You are suspended from TSA pre-check for one year. How did this happen? Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Jimmy's World. My name is Jimmy and you are now in my world. Today, we are gonna go on a trip. We are gonna go from Tampa, Florida all the way around to New Orleans. If you were walking, it would take you 230 hours if you were riding your bicycle, it would take you 54 hours. If you were on public transport, 19 hours and two minutes. If you were driving your automobile, that would be nine hours and 17 minutes. But us, commercial airline, one hour, 45 minutes. I think we can do better. Cameron and I, we're gonna take off and see if we can't beat that commercial jet. What do you think? If you think we can, give us a thumbs up if you think we can't, then go watch some other YouTube channel, you party pooper. Well, boogity boogity boys, we got us a race today. We got the rookies in one corner, Cameron and Jimmy, battling the behemoth that is the commercial airline industry. This is a true David and Goliath battle. I don't know about you, but my money is going to be on the proven winners and not the rookies, not this year. They seem like they're getting their act together, but they got a few more races to go before I'm willing to put my money on them. Back to you. Southwest is scheduled to depart at 3.55 p.m. and arrive at 4.40 p.m. local time with a time of travel of one hour, 45 minutes. Now they can cut straight across the water, shaving over 100 miles off of the route Cameron is gonna have to fly. The only chance Jimmy has is if he can get a jump on the commercial airliner. His route is scheduled to take two hours and 44 minutes, a full hour longer. If he gets off the ground by 2.55, he might have a chance. A minute slower, he's gonna lose. Arrived at the airport, let's go through security. That was easy. Let's see, uh, we gotta find parking. That works. I remember all too well what it's like going through TSA security. Move along, keep moving, keep moving. Whose bag is this? Who left water? in their water bottle. That's just water. I, I can drink it if you want. What is this? Large toenail clippers? They're just nail clippers. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I've got all these checks and background checks. I'm not a threat. <laughs> oh, guys, it's just a little bit of water. All right, let's go ahead and climb in. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot, gotta post a video. Uh, it's gonna be a 15 minute delay because I hang out and answer comments for the first 15 minutes 
after I post a video. So if you want your question answered, your comment replied to, hit the bell icon, make sure you're subscribed, and that way when I post a video, you're alerted and uh, I can chat with you. Looking forward to it. Wrapped in, and yes, I did go to the bathroom this time. This is everybody's favorite. Can I get a clear prop? That's fantastic. Let's go catch us a jet. Actually, let's beat a jet because they haven't taken off yet. Plant City traffic, Lance 3261 Echo, uh, taxiing Alpha to runway 10. Can I get a radio check, please? City traffic, Lancer 8261 Echo departing runway 10, Plant City. Hope they hear me. Never did get a radio check. We are lined up. We're not off by that place over there. We're going to set her down straight if we get off and over. We're going to just land it on somebody's backyard. Got a crosswind coming in this way, correct? And here we go. Yes. Get some rudder authority. There we go. More rudder authority. Come on now. Speed is alive. And up. There we go. Everything is in the green. Ears up and locked. Plant City traffic, Lance Area 261 Echo departing the area to the north. Plant City. So we had a thousand feet, we'll bring our flaps up. Stay with you as a departing pattern to the northeast of us. There's a thousand flaps coming up. We were cruising, granted it's still really fast, but about 190 knots, give or take, ground speed. Uh, and our true airspeed was about 185, 190 knots. But I think we can do better. I'm thinking turbochargers, I'm thinking full FADEC, electronic controlled everything. I wonder how many more BTUs we can get out of Cameron. My goal with Cameron is to hit 250 knots true airspeed. We got to gain 60 knots. Man, I don't know if we'll do that short of a turbine engine, but we'll give it a heck of a shot. Give a thumbs up if you think let's go for it and hit this 250 knot journey with Cameron. Or give me a thumbs down if you're slow poking boring. Okay. Flaps are up. Okay, let's see. Oil pressure, oil temperature. Goes it over to 125 for our climb out. What I thought was going to be a regular Jimmy's World video where I try to race my commercial flight from Tampa to New Orleans turned into something that uh, could have been the last video. I still got 45 minutes to go. I, I have no idea where they're at. I don't know if I'm going to beat them or not. I am near Mobile, Alabama now. Slowing this Lance Air down is a challenge in and of itself. When you're doing 200 knots, it is a precise fighter jet type of airplane where even the slightest movement like this, and it'll go into a hard bank and just stay there. Another number 61 Echo, runway 2, cleared to land. So I've got a gigantic Airbus over there that I gotta follow, and it's got some massive wake turbulence. This is a little tiny airplane. And wake turbulence, it goes, the wind comes off the wings like this, and if I get caught in that, I go like that as well. So I gotta be careful. And land after he lands. Slowed it down, I checked my speed, 122 knots, great, flip the switch. There's one. 20. You can reduce speed. You can see one, two green, and then the pump stopped, but that light never came on. I only got two greens. That's not good. Let's do the shuffle. I was like, okay, you know, I'm tapping the light, shake the plane with the rudder. You go up and down, move the stick all around just to kind of shake the plane to see if that thing will finally go click and go in. It never did. So I was like, okay. American 806, uh, turn left uniform, ground point nine, good day. Uniform point nine, American 806. Oh, come on, really? Come back up. You know, all the training kicked in at that point, and I'm like, okay, well, 
I know I've got two green down. It feels, you can feel the gear coming down. The plane feels different. And then I think, okay, well, let's just try it again. Maybe it just needs to come up and come down. Double check my speed to make sure I was under the 122 knots, and I was. I flip the switch, make the gears come all the way up and locked. All the lights go out. I'm like, okay, great. Flip the switch down. In transition. Go down again. Come on now. Sunk after 30, 55. Fly runway heading runway 2, cleared for takeoff. 1330 at 5. 1, 2, 30, 55. Runway heading. 3. I remember that the tower, I'm talking to them, they're there to help, right? So I asked the tower and let them know what's going on. New Orleans Tower, this is Lance Area 261 Echo. I'm only showing two uh, greens for the gear. Can I do a fly over and see if you can check? It'll be my right main gear. Lance 61 Echo, affirmative. Uh, traffic departing runway 2, uh, 737. Can you report that traffic in sight? A261 Echo, I do not have traffic in sight. I am about two mile final here. Honestly, I was uh, thinking, well, Okay, I'm pretty sure that the gear is down. I'm, I think it's just a switch or a light issue, you know, something like that, because the way those gears are designed, if you take pressure off, they go clunk, and they come all the way down. The only way they don't go all the way down and lock is if something binds in there. And the way this gear is designed, there's not much to bind in there. And there's a little lever in the front for an emergency gear. You literally just flip the lever forward and the gears go clunk, and then they're locked and down. And November 61 Echo, you're showing two in the green, uh, only two in the green, and your right main is the issue? That's affirmative. Right main does not have a green. And land 61 Echo, uh, Roger, uh, you can uh, cancel landing clearance. Runway two, you're clear to low approach. We'll be looking. And eventually, right there on shore final, that third light came on. I got my uh, third green here. Can you confirm? And land 61 Echo, affirmative gear of all three appear down. Rado, can I go ahead and land or you want me to go around? November 61 Echo, if you're comfortable with it, runway two, clear to land. All right, well, here goes. <laughs> so, let's land the plane. All right, here we go. There's 95. Good thing we got a really big runway. We can just let this thing go all the way down. The moment I touched down, it was a pretty good landing. I thought it was, it was a really good landing. Touched down, and then I was thinking to myself, okay, I don't know if that gear is all the way locked, so don't make any sudden movements in case I go to turn and then that gear goes and the whole plane comes over and lands on its wing. So I did not want to do that. I was trying to be very gentle. Nothing like waiting till the last second to give me a green. At the same time though, I was blocking the only entry and exit for the big jets to get onto the other runway that they had to use there. Uh, so I had ground kind of telling all these other flights uh, to hold short because there was a little plane. Then I had tower telling them, they said, no, we've got to have him stop right there so he can check and confirm that the gears are down. Uh, <laughs> so I'm stopped, you know, I'm doing my my uh, my checks and everything. Honestly, I just wanted to get out of the way and get over to the, the FBO so I could get out of the plane all the way, look at everything and see what happened, what was going on. Envoy 4171, I understand that you're waiting on rampers, but you're blocking the only taxiway in and out to that entire side. This is as far as we can move forward for Envoy 4171. Lancer 8261 Echo, uh, I do confirm three down and locked, and I'm ready to go to a signature, please. November 8261 Echo, New Orleans ground, Roger, you can tax CV as Sierra Ultra to golf. This, this is kind of fun. Oh man, we got all these fancy private jets, and he's sticking us back over here on Derelict Row with all the fuel trucks. That's not very cool. Hey, there's an old 337. Ooh, I wonder if that'll start. Hello. Ooh, it's chilly. I started looking at some of the switches for that tell you the green lights and everything. And I 
I couldn't see anything that was unusual. When the gear comes down, it pushes on a little arm on a switch and it goes click and then when it comes up gears in transition when it comes down it goes click and the green light comes on and I was looking at that switch and I pushed it and it went click but the gears were already down and locked and I'm like well that's not good so then I started seeing if it was adjustable on there and sure enough there's two little screws that hold it on and I could take my screwdriver and push it down and the screws weren't all the way tight allowing that switch through vibration and whatever else to work itself in the wrong direction so that it was off of the stop showing a gear not all the way down and locked. I was like, oh, that's the dirty little dirty little thing there that caused all this issue. So now I, I put that on my punch list of things to uh, look at <laughs> and to try to remedy to make sure that does not happen again. That was not something I want to repeat anytime soon. First time ever landing in a Bravo big international airport at the same time when I had a possible gear up situation. That is, that's how you do it right there. That's, that's pure Jimmy's world. Woo. Bada bing, bada boom. We made it, landed safely, tied down, fuel truck filled up. How many gallons did it take? 31. 31, that's, I'm shocked honestly. I was surprised it was that much. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. And the header tank was, I think it was less than half and I filled that up so now all of it's super full. But we gotta go check and see if I beat the big jet. I'm pulling up FlightAware here. Found my Southwest Flight 258. Arrived at the gate at 4.51, and it's now 4.57. And I've already tied down, fueled up, had a bottle of water, paid for the overnight thing, and got an Uber, and I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, totally beat it. It's awesome. Parking brake is set. Clear to start both in. Can I get a clear prop? I would love to know how you do a clear prop on the craziest, weirdest stuff ever, whether it's from a jumbo, you know, a, a Boeing 787 or down to a little airplane or not even an airplane at all, like a dishwasher. Let's get a trend going. Hashtag clear prop. That's what I'm saying. Here we go with this one. Hashtag clear prop. Northern ground, point iron for Delta 2477. Lance here, 8261 Echo, normal carrier, you ready to go? That's permit, holding 429, ready to go. Alright, we got mixtures up, prop is there, gears there. Oh, crosswind. Airspeed is alive already, golly gomer. So bring it on up. Woo! Wow, we that is there number uh two to follow up on the Mother of Pearl and all this holy that's insane. Landing gear coming up. God we going that's gusty. It's gonna be one of those rides again, huh? Holy crap, a lot! Oh. Man, a lot! Have mercy, that was unpleasant. Flap coming up. Holy moly. And we got a whole bunch of ice. Yep. I'm gonna have to check out the uh, heater on this thing, too. Man, every day's a adventure doing these things. Golly. It's a note to self. I am freezing my tushy off here. It is five degrees Celsius outside and the heater is only down on this side right here that I can feel right there where my hand is. And this leg there's some air coming up from where the, uh, the trim and the throttle quadrants and stuff are. Just enough of a breeze so that it's cold air hitting right on my leg, and I am cold. So we're gonna definitely need to figure out a, a heater for this thing, or we just move further south. I don't know, I kinda like that option better, move a little further south. What do you think? If we should move further south, give me a thumbs up. If I should just quit my whining and get on with it. So it. For 
Well, I made it. As you can tell, I'm here. Crazy thing is, it's now 8.45 p.m. local time. I wouldn't even be getting on the plane back in New Orleans till 8.55 their time. That's an hour from now, and I'm already home. Yeah, it's a bit sketchy, and I did... I kind of peed my pants, uh, literally. Tried using the bottle like I was talking there, but that's a lot harder than you think. Uh, there was some spillage, I'll just put it that way, and... Um, that, that's that's not lemonade, and that, yeah, don't use a bottle with a bigger lid. It, it didn't work. We made it, we beat the commercial airlines. Woo woo, go Cameron. Let's see how much faster we can make Cameron. My name is Jimmy. This is my world now, and now you are in it. I will see you next time, bye-bye.